But I do take a point, point of difference respectfully with the Minister when he says that we should be at the negotiating table. I think he says it best when he says uh, that we should, not, we should never negotiate with criminality. The fact is that the people that we are negotiating uh, in, a, in a negotiating room, in a, in a conference room, are the same people who, whose members are out in the streets causing incredible violence and mayhem disruption to our city and even murder. We remember specifically Officer Quinana who, who uh, passed away this weekend at the hands of uh, this, this taxi mafia. Now it is not our approach and we do not believe it is the right policy anywhere in South Africa that you negotiate with people who are threatening you with violence and who are perpetrating violence right outside the door of the negotiating room. We don't believe that that's a good policy. The minister, I, I must just deal with taxis, but I see that the minister is dealing with Zama Zamas in, in Gauteng. He's dealing with construction mafia elsewhere it would never be right for him to sit down with those people to negotiate uh, when they are killing his uh, police officers and killing members of the public in the streets that can never be a good message for for our country our message should be our united message from government minister should be that violence is the last thing that you ever do if you want to speak to government sensibly around a table if you engage in violence you will never get a, a hearing from the government then th this industry and other uh, uh, criminal syndicates around the country will learn that if you engage in violence that is the, f the number one way to close the door to any further negotiations and progress uh, with with the government so we've taken a principled position that uh, that we will not speak with those who are perpetrating violence until it stops now we've I think the firm position we have taken has already shown that it is the right position because we have this peace and quiet this morning albeit only for 10 or 12 hours we have it because the taxi industry knows they will get nothing from government, no answer whatsoever, so long as this violence continues. I think, Minister, that that is the message we should be sending to criminals all over our country, whether they be in uh, organized taxi businesses or in Zama Zamas or indeed in any other industry that we are trying to deal with in terms of violent crime. You negotiate with criminals, we won't.